Give me the plants now. I feel like I could just stroke it all day. I need to stop, I've got a problem. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we're gonna do a little planty haul for you. So I actually filmed this video yesterday and then one of the files got corrupted and so I have to refilm today. But today we're gonna do a little bit of a planty haul and basically I got a whole bunch of planty money for Christmas and my birthday and I know that it's February now and Christmas was two months ago but I haven't had time. <laughs> I have not had time to buy any plants. I went away on a business trip to Cornwall which was amazing. I loved being by the sea and in the nature and stuff but then I came back to London and I was like this is too grey and sad give me plants. So I bought like seven plants in a week, um, which was great for my bank account. Actually, it wasn't that bad seeing as most of it was from gift certificates and stuff. It wasn't terrible, but my house doesn't have much room for more plants. So I'm sorry, flatmates. I came home from my business trip and I was like, give me the plants now. I went on this online site which was called House of Plants, which I think is a UK plant retailer. I think they do a lot of plants for offices and homes and stuff like that. So they had a pretty wide variety of plants. A lot of the like basic ones that you can get pretty much anywhere like ZZs and Sansevierias and Monsteras and palms and stuff like that. So it was pretty, not basic, but they had a lot of different things that are pretty typical for your average home that aren't super difficult to care for, which is great because who doesn't need more easy care plants? So the first thing that I got off of House of Plants is this bad boy. This one is a philodendron scandens. I think it's also a heartleaf philodendron. I don't really know the difference, but these leaves are shaped like hearts and they're all green, which I'm pretty sure are the characteristics of the heartleaf philodendron. So I think they're the same, but basically I just got this massive philodendron and I'm pretty sure this one was 15 pounds. And it's pretty big. It's got quite a lot of strands hanging off. It came in this nice hanging planter, which I like because I've put it up on a tension rod that goes on my wall there. I got a tension rod for there because I needed more space for my plants. And this is perfect for that because it already has its little hook. I don't even need to make a hanging system for it, which is great. And I just love how it's already got new growth in there, which is a really good thing. I love when plants come with new growth because it means that they're healthy and happy because I don't want to get sent a plant that's not up to its fullest potential. And if it's putting out new leaves, that means it's probably doing okay. Super happy about this. I'm kind of getting more into philodendrons now. I've got a Brazil and this one, and I've got a Mykins on the way. But yeah, so got this one. I'm really excited about it. The philodendron doing its, doing its thing, just hanging out. The second plant that I got from House of Plants is this beauty right here. So this is a parlor palm and it's really massive for what I know a parlor palm to be. All of the parlor palms I've ever seen have been like this tall, but this one is like 60 centimeters or two feet or so, which is amazing. I like how big it is. I didn't kind of want that tiny little thing. I like that it's big and it's here ready to make a statement in the house rather than just sit in a corner. Not that other people's parlor palms are just sitting in a corner. I'm sorry if I've offended you because you like your small parlor palm. My bad. I don't mean it. All plants are good plants. This one just is better for me because I like it bigger. Got this parlor palm. I really like it because it reminds me of the Arisha palm that I've got just there, this one. You can't even see it. There you go, tiny little bit in the corner. It reminds me of that. It's kind of like its little brother. They sit right next to each other and it's kind of like 
the little family together with my little indoor palms. This one's doing really well. It's got some new growth in there. You can see like the lighter leaves in there are all new, which is good. And it's got some, quite a lot of older growth as well. And it's super densely packed down at the bottom. There's just so much going on there that it's just so full. Um, I'm really scared that I'm not gonna give it the care that it needs and it'll thin out. Kind of like the Arisha Palm did because that guy's sensitive, but I think it'll be fine. I'm pretty much giving them the same care, so hopefully it'll be good. But yeah, this one was also 15 pounds, I think, which is a pretty good value. It's pretty big for what it is and I love it. It's so cute. It's so soft and delicate. I feel like I could just stroke it all day and it's really nice. It just feels good. I could lay in a pile of these and it would feel so nice. That's a bit weird, but you know, whatever. I'm weird. I'm a crazy plant lady. I've bought so many new plants in the last two weeks that I a thousand percent categorize myself now as a crazy plant lady, a plant hoarder. I need to stop. I've got a problem. I need to go on a plant ban now. So while I was waiting for those two plants to arrive, I took a normal trip to Morrison's, gonna go do my grocery shopping for the week. And I walk in and the plants are kind of like right at the beginning, right when you enter. And I saw this. I don't even know how to show you the entirety of it. It's just so massive. It's probably about four feet or 130 centimeters, which is massive. I love myself a tall plant. And this one is really beautiful. I've never seen a Dracenia like this that has the white in its leaves as well. I've only seen the ones that are kind of green and then red or the Dracenia white jewel, but that's, it's very different. The like, the leaves on this one are a lot like wavier and, and stripey, I guess. I know they're the same family, but I just don't categorize them in the same playing field. It's just a very different, vibe. These ones kind of curl over like that and then these ones kind of spike out and are kind of pointy and nice. I've never seen one like this before and so I figured I have to have it. So I promptly abandoned my partner in the supermarket and brought this one home. Yeah, this bad boy, I got him because I have a nice big vertical spot in my room that used to be filled with junk and is now filled with this. And so I figured my room doesn't get much light. It's a room with just one northeast facing window, which means it doesn't get all that much light, especially, especially in the winter when the days are so short in the UK. And I know they're getting longer now, which I'm so happy about because I like it when it's light outside. Even if it's gray, it's better if it's light than dark. Yeah, so I figured I need something that can handle the dark and not die on me immediately. Also, our room is quite dry because it gets super cold in there. We have the heat on, we've got a heat fan down there running almost the entire, not the entire night, but like on and off throughout the night. So it gets quite dry. The air is not humid at all. And so I needed to get something that wasn't tropical, that didn't need 85% humidity to live. So figured this one is a good sturdy staple that will just thrive in the conditions that I give it. It was only 17 pounds as well, which is quite good for a large plant, especially one that I hadn't seen before. So if getting those three plants wasn't enough, I, on Friday, went to a nice little plant pop-up called Plants for All with my friend from Instagram, Plantastic Mr. Fox. Hi, Stuart. Basically, it's this pop-up created by these guys who wanted plants to be a bit more affordable for everyone. So they decided to make events all throughout different cities where they basically have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of houseplants and they sell them for really low prices, like two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, or you can get big plants for 15 pounds, which is pretty insane to get a big plant for 15 pounds, usually, Plants like that will go for 40 or 50 pounds. It was a really, really good deal. So we went and it was so much fun. There was quite a good, decent selection there. A lot of things that I didn't have and hadn't seen before as well, which was nice. The first thing that attracted my eye was this one. According to the label, it's an Epipremnum panatum happy leaf. I personally don't really know what the difference is between an Epi Epipremnum aurum 
which is what my Golden Pothos and Marbled Queen and Pothos and Joy are, and an Epic Remnum Penatum. So if anyone knows the difference, I would love to learn. I got this one because I absolutely love Pothos and I didn't have a happy leaf and I just couldn't get over how gorgeous these white leaves are. They're just so beautiful and even the green leaves are gorgeous as well. They're just so many little speckles on there. And so I basically had to have it and it was only five pounds. So how can you not? I'm really happy with that one. It's currently living up on that shelf with my other pothos plants. That's probably not the best place for it. I will do a bit of a rearrange in the spring, I think, when it's a bit lighter and I can put more plants in my bedroom. It might be a while, but I will do a rearrange eventually and I will bring you with me. The second thing that I saw that I was like, oof, this is what I need, was a shelf full of a bunch of calatheas. So I have one and a half calatheas. So I've got a calathea ornata and then I've got a maranta, which is cousin of a calathea, fairly similar needs. And so I was like, hmm. It would be nice to get some more calatheas. I feel like I can handle them. My house is quite humid. My ornata has been fine. So I decided to get another one. And originally I couldn't decide between this one and an orbifolia, but I ended up picking this one because I just really liked the variegation on the leaves. I just think they're so beautiful. I love the like middle stripe and then the halo around the outside. And then the backs of them are super gorgeous. Just Look at that beautiful purpley goodness. So I figured, how could I not get it? There's no way I'm not getting it. It's just so beautiful. And it's really jam packed in there. There's so many little plants. There's a new leaf even right there, which is amazing. So again, that means it's growing well and it's happy. I just had to have it. And maybe that was a bad decision but yeah, I had to do major shelf rearranging in order to fit this on it because I wanted to put it next to my other ones because they grow best in groups. So it's currently sitting on my little humidity loving area in that corner. Oh, it's a Calathea medallion, by the way. It was only 10 pounds. So I figured that's a pretty good price. I feel like if they would normally go for a bit more expensive than this. Usually probably about 15, maybe 20 if it's a really expensive retailer. So really glad that I could get this for a good decent price. My total was at 15 pounds and I was like, mm, let's just round it up to an even 20. What can I get to make my total 20 pounds? So I found this cutie. I saw this and I was like, oh my God, it is adorable. It basically looks like a little mini Alocasia Amazonica or Alocasia Poly. It says on the label that it's an Alocasia Bambino Arrow, which I'm not quite sure if that's a different thing to an Alocasia Poly, but the leaf markings, both on the front and the backs of the leaves are pretty much the same as an Alocasia Poly. The only thing that I think is a bit different is how it's growing from the pot. It's kind of more of a singular base rather than on the Alocasia Poly where it's a bit more of, I know that doesn't make much sense, but I don't have words to describe it. I'm not really sure if they're the same or not, but they have really similar markings and I really love my Alocasia Poly. So I saw that it's, and it was a mini version of it. And so I figured I would get it. It also has a new leaf growing in there, this one. So that's really exciting. I'm excited to see whether or not it comes out as like shiny and waxy as the Poly does. And it was only five pounds. So that brought my total up to 20 pounds, which is apparently much more reasonable in my brain than spending 15. Like I said, I have a problem, I know. Yeah, so those are the plants that I have right now. I was hoping to have my philodendron micans here as well for this video, but it hasn't come in time, so it's not. But know that I'm getting a philodendron micans and maybe I'll have it by the time this video goes up and I can insert a picture if I do, it's here. That's it, that's all the plants that I got in the past two weeks. I know it's a lot, 
and now I have to buy more pots for them because I don't have any pots. I need like probably 12 pots. So, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked this video. Please do give it a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment if you want to see more videos like this. I can buy more plants and show them to you on the internet if you'd like. That is not a problem for me. But yeah, let me know if you want to see more plant hauls or any other type of plant related content, care videos, whatever that you want to see because I will do my best to make them for you. And subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Winning. Hopefully this content is good enough. I really hope so.